Normally the internet goes crazy over boy bands and pictures of cats, but today it's been going crazy over something different, a picture of a dress. But don't worry, this isn't a fashion show, but it is the colour of the dress that people are really interested in. Half the world thinks the colour of a dress is blue and black, and half the world think the colour of the dress is white and gold. But how can a single dress look like two different colours to a whole population? So here's the picture of the dress if you haven't seen it before. Now you already probably decided the colour of the dress is black and blue or gold and white. You might not also believe that half the world disagrees with you in the simple analysis of the colour of a dress. But what in fact has actually happened is an optical illusion that's confusing our brains. To understand this we have to understand how our brain processes light and colour. Now all objects in the world are different colours, blue, reds, greens and so on. And each colour is also illuminated by light. This depends on what the source of the light is. So you can have very bright light, very dim light. And you can have different coloured lights. So inside underneath a normal light bulb, perhaps it would be a yellow light. If you go outside underneath the blue sky, you have more blue light hitting the objects. Now, normally our brain removes the colour from the light that's reflecting off the object. So for example, if you take a white piece of paper outside underneath the blue light of the sky, and you have the same white piece of paper inside underneath a yellow light bulb, they'll look exactly the same. And this is because our brain removes the colour from the light that reflects off of the object. So the white piece of paper outside that should be slightly blue tinted from the blue sky just looks like white. And the white piece of paper that's underneath the yellow light bulb also just like, looks like white. Our brains remove all the colour from the reflected light off of objects. So what does this have to do with the dress? Well the reason there's a confusion over the colour of the dress is due to the quality of the photo and the lighting of the dress in the photo. Our brains are trying to remove the colour of the light that's hitting the dress. However, it's hard for our brains to analyse what kind of light is on the dress from this picture, just due to the quality of the photograph. So half the people in the world remove some of the colour from the dress, which leaves it making it look a blue and black colour. And the rest of the population remove colours from the dress from the light, which makes it appear a white and gold colour to us. And this isn't the only illusion that tries to confuse our brain using colour and light. One of the more famous examples out there is called the shadow checker illusion. In this illusion, two squares on a checkerboard are lit by different levels of light and surrounded by lighter coloured squares. So our brains process these two squares, labelled A and B on the picture, as being different shades of grey. However, this is just an illusion, in fact they're the same colour. Don't believe me? All you have to do is to connect the two squares together and you'll see that in fact they are the same colour. So in fact, the whole controversy about the dress is just due to an optical illusion. It's due to the way that our brains remove the colour of light that's reflected off of objects. It just so happens that half the population, when our brains remove the colour from the poor quality of the photo, make the dress look blue and black. And half of us think that the colour of the dress is gold and white. So that's the whole problem solved. But I bet you're wondering what colour is the dress in real life? Well, sources say that the actual colour of the dress is blue and black. Thank you very much for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget you can check out the rest of my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave any comments at the bottom of the video, uh, if you have any feedback or any questions or any sort of comments about the whole dress scandal then please leave them there. Otherwise thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Statistics can seem absolutely bizarre and often they can seem completely strange and often unbelievable and there's no better example of this than the statistics problem, the Monty Hall problem which is based off a TV show from the 1960s and the 1970s. But what is the Monty Hall problem and what makes it so unbelievable? 